I want to welcome everyone to uh, okay. uh, this morning's committee uh, meeting. It's November 21st, uh, and I hope everybody has a, uh, a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm joined by my uh, friend who I served with in Sacramento and also here, Richard Alicon. We do not have a, a quorum at this time, so any action that we take, Mr. City Attorney, will be a communique from the chair until we uh, have a, a quorum. So with that said, I think I want to, no, that's item nine, no public comment cards at this time. Ms. Barclay, let's go through uh, the consent calendar, starting with uh, item number one. Yes, sir. Meg Barclay, CLA. Item one is a report from the Community Redevelopment Agency and the City Administrative Officer and City Attorney report and an ordinance relative to eliminating the debt and current limitation date for the Crenshaw Redevelopment Project Area. Okay, then we'll uh, adopt the CAO and City Attorney reports and the draft ordinance as a communique from the Chair. Item number two. Item number two is a report from the CRA and the CLA relative to awarding contracts for various environmental planning consulting services. On item two, we'll adopt the CLA report. Item three. Item three is a report from the CRA and the CLA relative to awarding as-needed contracts to additional pre-qualified list of 15 grant consulting services firms. Okay, we, on that item, we'll adopt the CLA report. Item four. Item four is a report from the CRA and the CLA relative to expending funds for building repairs and operating expenses for a CRA-owned property located at 2600 South Hoover Street. Okay, so on that item, we'll adopt the uh, CAO report? I believe that's the CLA report. CLA report, my, my bad. Item 5? Item 5 is a report from the LAHD and the CAO and a resolution relative to issuing multi, um, sorry, excuse me, tax-exempt multifamily housing revenue bonds for the Swansea Park Senior Apartments Project. Okay, on item 5, we'll adopt the CAO report. Item 6? Item 6 is also a report from the LHD and the CAO relative to the issuance of tax-exempt multifamily housing revenue bonds for the Dana Strand Senior Apartments Project. Okay. On that item, we'll adopt the CAO report. Item 7. Item 7 is reports from the LHD and the CAO relative to the approval of contractors selected through a request for proposals for housing-related technical services. Okay. On that item, we'll adopt the CAO report. That brings us to uh, Alan, what item? Item number 8, sir. Okay. You're on it. You're on it. Okay. <laughs> Item 8, Ms. Barclay. Item 8 is a report from CDD and the CAO relative to the proposed 2009-10 fiscal year budget for the Industrial Development Authority. Okay, then we'll adopt the uh, CAO report on that item. Again, just to uh, reiterate, Mr. City Attorney, the, these items will be deemed communications from the uh, chair. Uh, that brings us to... Uh, item 9, why don't you read item 9, and then I'm going to ask uh, the Silver Fox, Parker Anderson, to come forward. He's got a uh, uh, comment on item 9. All right. So read the item. Item 9 is reports from the CDD and the CAO relative to the selection of Family Source Program specialized services providers based on the 2009 Family Source Program request for proposals. Mr. Parker, good to see you. Thank you. Good morning. Sorry to break your momentum on your agenda. My name is Parker Anderson. I'm general manager for human services programs for the Watts Labor Community Action Committee. And we're here to uh, appeal this, the uh, CR report and, and CDD staff recommendation item number nine. What I've tried to do is put as succinctly as I can what we're asking the rationale for it. Basically, we're asking that the uh, CO report be amended uh, to recommend the three top scoring proposals in the RFP. Um, that would be um, uh, Central City Neighborhood Partners, Friends Outside, and WLCAC. Those are the three highest scoring proposals in this RFP, 100 points, 100 points, and 98 points, respectively. We also are asking the committee to request CDD to identify the savings to fund these three additional programs. Um, in the due to the slow startup and slow funding of the Family Source Center with its ERA funding or some of the other ERA projects that have been funded by the city as part of the broader package. And clearly, there will be significant savings in the rollout of the brand new Family Source Center system. Real quickly in terms of the background, WLCAC submitted three proposals in the Specialized Services RFP for each one of our three neighborhood action programs. 
our child care center, our after school enrichment, and our computer technology and community cyber cafe. Our scores were respectively 98 points, 92, and 74. All three were rejected because the staff chose to implement an option, which admittedly was in the RFP, that if they received too many proposals from their perspective for the funds available, they would not fund programs submitted by agencies that receive Family Source Center funding. We were one of those who was fortunate enough to receive that funding. What I'm really here to speak about today is one proposal that we submitted, and that's our child care center. Um, without this funding, our child care center will close shortly. That's a center that's been in operation for 31 years. It operates in a city facility, which was built in 1978 for WLCAC. We're the only child care center in the Watts community that provides infant care as well as toddler care for up to 60 kids. Um, and in addition, um, we serve the four housing projects in that area as well as the Watts community. So we're serving the poorest of the poor. If we receive funding from this particular RFP process, it will allow us to implement a sustainability plan. That sustainability plan will be completed in a year and we will be self-sustaining. We won't require subsidy from the city. So we're not just asking for some short-term resolution, it gives us the ability to, to implement our long-term solution, which will be successful. And then real briefly, uh, the, the context was you got about 53 proposals, staff recommended 40 of those. Um, they're not recommending a total of 13 eligible proposals that were associated with Family Source Center programs. So anyway, we're asking that you fund the top three, and if you turn the page, uh, you'll see the list, which is part of the staff report, and you can see the top three fund, the top three proposals were from Family Source Center agencies. None of those were recommended for funding. We ask that you fund those. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And uh, hopefully by the time this uh, gets to uh, council, we'll, we will be able to make some adjustments. We've just been a little busy with pot lately. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, oh, Mr. Yeah. Alec, I have one more. Go for it. Um, so thank you, uh, Mr. Anderson. Thank I you. have Hector Briones. Uh, Mr. Chairman, actually, uh, all I would ask you is to uh, follow the recommendation of the CDD office. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> and uh, and before would... you start, Hector, I busted you, Alan. You know you started started the clock about a minute late last night. Regrettable. So I just sir. I just don't want you to think that it, it that I missed it. Okay. Hector, if you state your name for the record and relax and tell us why uh, you're name, here. My name is Hector Manuel Briones. I'm regional director for the Our Lady of the Angels region for Catholic Charities of Los Angeles, Inc. Um, I would just urge you to follow the recommendations of the Community Development Office um, and um, uh, the Economic Development, the Community Development Department Office um, and um, after that, I, I will just withdraw my, my, uh, my comment. Well, thank you. Uh, with, with that, uh, I believe my colleague may have an amendment or, or amendments. Mr. Alicorn. Actually, I'm going to ask for assistance of the CLA. Um, obviously, a lot of the council members were concerned about uh, gaps in, in service uh, relative to the consolidation. Sometimes when you do um, uh, collaborative uh, applications, there are agencies that get into the wrong collaborative, and so you end up with gaps in services that have to be addressed. Uh, we've also found uh, about 440,000 in, in uh, CSBG ARRA funds that uh, have become available due to uh, declinations from uh, uh, grant awardees, um, meaning people didn't turn out, turn, didn't accept the money that they were granted, and so. Uh, I'd like to request that today's action further be amended to provide family source services for North Valley, Watts, Wilshire, and Wilmington communities. Um, and I'd like to ask the CLA to provide appropriate language to allow for the following. Uh, the Youth Policy Institute, 250,000. Uh, Watts Labor Community Action Committee, uh, 72,500. Harbor Community Development Corporation, 72,500. And the Koreatown uh, uh, youth and Community Center, 72,500. Good amendment. Uh, so uh, without objection, 
if we could just fold that into the recommendation, which will be that we adopt the CAO report on this item. As amended to make those funding changes. And I have written language I can provide to the clerk. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, with that, I think we have a special agenda item that we couldn't deal with until after 845. Is that correct? So, Mr. City Attorney. Yes, sir. We're going to make you the official timekeeper. Is it, in your opinion, after 845? Yes, it is. Okay. That is your legal opinion. That is my factually. That is your, okay. Then with that said, then that will bring us to, what is it, item 11? Yes, sir. If you could read that. Item 11 is a report from the Committee of Redevelopment. In fact, I guess what I forgot to say, we recessed the regular meeting and go into the special meeting. See, I was testing you. I failed. You and Alan are having a rough day today. You're thinking about that, the gravy and the turkey and the stuffings and the football games. So, oh, so you're not thinking about the football game. Not so much. Okay. Did you think that Donny Osmond should have won that? No, I don't watch that either. You don't watch that? No, but I did love Donny Osmond when I was little. Boy, this is a rough day. I know it's a rough day for the CLA. He just gives us hope for the old guys. Yeah, hope for the old guys. All right, so I'm going to recommend that next year, Mr. Alicorn, that you be one of the contestants. Oh, he's a hell of an athlete, so I would think he would do well. Yes. Approved. Can I go now? Yes, you go. Okay. It ain't going to happen. Item 11 is a report from the CRA and a resolution relative to a contract with Los Angeles Neighborhood Initiative for public outreach design and construction of street medians at Mansfield Avenue, La Brea Avenue, along San Vicente Boulevard, between Pico Boulevard and Fairfax. Whose district is that? That would be yours, sir. Okay. Then without objection, we will deem that item approved as a communique from the chair. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got an objection from a Donny Osmond fan here. So is item 12? Item 12, yes. Okay. Item 12 is also a CRA report relative to a cooperation agreement with the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority to provide extended non-permanent housing for families and to enter into a lease agreement with LASA for properties located at 2528 through 2530 Orange Drive and 2520, 2522, and 2522 and a half South Alsace Avenue. Okay. Then without objection, that item will be deemed approved again as a communique from the chair. So with that, Mr. City Attorney, we adjourn the special meeting, uh, return to uh, the regular agenda. And you would like, would you like me to read item 10? Item uh, 10, I think, I, I, I do see a, another old friend, I think, send me from your neck of the woods, Mr. Alicorn. Mel, uh, you, you just came to say hello, are you here on business? Uh, I just want to acknowledge the, the, the presence of this. This, this, this great, great fella. Okay, we're joined by Miss Perry and Mr. Reyes. So we do have a quorum. So before we go to item uh, 10, uh, I want to give you guys a minute to get situated. We've already acted on items uh, uh, 1 through 9 on the regular agenda, and we've also acted on items 11 and 12 on the special agenda. Uh, if you are supportive of that, we will switch it from a communique to a chair. I just, have, I just have one complaint, Mr. Chair. Yes. You are too efficient. You're I like Too efficient. That's a great way to start the day. Okay, good. Fantastic. All righty. Now that you, you guys are here, <laughs> did you agree that uh, Donny Osmond should have won dance with the stars? <laughs> Donny Osmond. Oh, man. I could have been I don't know. I agree with you. I think she was a better dancer. I didn't even know who was dancing. I'm torn. Yeah, I'm I'm highly I'm highly disappointed. They had the battle of the wide receivers, Jerry Rice. That was pretty hideous. Okay, with that.
<laughs> it really would. <laughs> With that, uh, Ms. Barkley, if you could read item 10. Item 10 is a report from the CRA relative to the appointment of Mr. Calvin Hollis as the Interim Chief Executive Officer of the CRA. Okay, Mr. Hollis, come forward. And Mr. City Attorney, I didn't even know that we had to uh, approve an interim. Well, I think um, under the um, oversight ordinance, the council has to approve the, um, the seat of director, so I believe that they've determined that the interim would also apply. Okay, all right. How are you, sir? I'm well, Councilman. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, before you get started, the only thing that I want to impress upon you is the importance of the uh, District Square project, because we've been working on that forever, and it's almost at the finish line, and also the Midtown Crossing. So just know that those are very critical projects uh, to, I think, the city of L.A., and I want to make sure that you keep those on your agenda. And if by chance you forget, be assured I will remind you. Yes, sir. So with that said, Mr. Hollis, why don't you uh, uh, tell us, uh, you know, whatever you want to tell us. I know that you, you, you have the abilities to do the job. You're the one of the number one number crunchers over there at that shop. So let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, Councilman, members of the committee, uh, just a little bit of, a, of my background. Uh, for 26 years, I was a managing principal with Kaiser Marston Associates uh, firm that uh, is a real estate and financial advisory firm for public agencies throughout the western United States. I had the opportunity over that probably for 20 of those years to work with the city of Los Angeles on a number of projects. I retired from the firm in uh, January of last year. I uh, joined the CRA as a, a Deputy Chief of Operations for Real Estate and Economic Development. Uh, since that time, I've been assigned uh, oversight of the real estate and the capital finance departments. Uh, I've been the CRA's representative on the CDBGR committee and the Recovery Bond Committee. Uh, I've been uh, uh, Directed to to uh, uh, develop with the with the CRA staff an economic development program, um, and I'm a member of, of the executive team. Um, uh, at this point in time in the in the agency's uh, agency's uh, um, life, uh, we believe we have a very strong staff, very strong executive team. Uh, the board has given clear direction on its, on its priorities that are in line with the council and mayor's, mayor's priorities. My assignment in this interim would be just to keep those, those priorities moving um, uh, while the uh, search, which I hope will be a rapid uh, search, uh, goes forward for the permanent CEO. So now, were you just like the last person to leave the building and you answered that 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 last phone call I mean how did how did this happen actually councilman I was in San Francisco when it went down so um, <laughs> now, I was I was asked if if uh, if I would be willing to uh, take on the the interim position um, given my knowledge of a number of the agencies projects you mentioned you mentioned district square and and midtown I worked on both of the I am working on both those projects. I'm working in Bal on the Baldwin Hills Shopping Center, uh, working on projects in, in Hollywood, North Hollywood. One of my assignments has been to assist all the regions in their various transactions, so I'm fully aware of all those I didn't know you were projects. working on Baldwin Hills. Yes. Uh, so uh, I, I think part of the thinking was I was aware of many of those important projects uh, had, uh, and didn't need to get up to speed on, on those. Um, and I was asked if I would do it, and I said I would be I'd be pleased to do it on a, on an interim basis. Okay, um, Mr. Reyes. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, first, I want to thank you for um, all your hard work and stepping up to the plate on this particular role. Uh, are you familiar with the work in Chinatown? The work in Chinatown? Yes. Yes. Not as familiar as some of the other projects. Okay. In terms of the work that CRA had been doing regarding moving the Los Angeles River Corporation. Yes. Uh, are you familiar with that? I am, yes. That is, uh, I believe, uh, a phase that we're in that uh, if we time ourselves correctly and if the pieces fall where they can and if the president insists on creating jobs, and which he should be, um, I don't see any other project as big in scale mm -hmm. 
and how to get people to work. Uh, just the fundamental task of breaking out that cement for all the unions that exist, for all the labor that's out there that's unemployed. There's not one project that I see of that scale that can get people to work as quick as, as that particular opportunity. So I just want to put that out there because that's the sense of urgency I've been pushing for the past two years. And uh, my, my hat goes out to see this Alana. She saw it and was working this toolbox, this amazing toolbox that I believe the CRA represents in making things happen. And uh, we acquired our first piece of land. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is a anchor for what could be, and I just hope that I get to meet with you because I don't know how in what how long interim means, <laughs> and that is up to my wife asked me the same question. <laughs> yeah, so time is precious, and um, I think the administration at the federal level is taking a lot of heat for the job situation in this country, and we can't give them a better package. He could be at the plate and hit this one out of the park if him and the mayor were able to, to make that happen. So uh, I appreciate what you're doing, and I just want to put that on the record and, and allow for our exchange to occur so that we can get up to speed and see where we're going next. Yes, sir. Thank you. You know, uh, in, in football, <laughs> the teams that have, you know, a, a good – starting quarterback and a, and a good backup quarterback are the teams that survive because it's a rough and tumble season and, and the business that you're in is is pretty rough and tumble and so is uh, the housing department so you may want to take a uh, a couple of pointers from Russ in the back who I think kept uh, the housing department afloat and uh, did a, a, a an excellent job as the backup quarterback for the uh, the housing department uh, any other questions or? Yeah. Mr. Alarcon. Yeah. Um, just just wanted to make sure we cover all the bases, uh, Calvin. Um, so you, um, you work with um, Calvin Hollis, uh, Kaiser Marston and Associates. Yes, I did for 26 years. And um, I just want to make sure the, the CRA has a, a number of uh, accounts with them, or it does a lot of work with Kaiser Marston, right? Yes, they do. Including uh, uh, the Price Fester project in my district. Yes. Yeah. I worked on that project when I was with Kaiser Marston. Right. So, um, so what, do you have an affiliation with them now? Or? No, I have. I have no affiliation. I have reclused myself from any matters dealing with Kaiser Marston and their and their contracts okay. and I have no ownership interest in the in the company. Okay, that's basically what I wanted to to make sure now. Uh what projects have you worked on uh, since working at the CRA? I worked uh, I was one of the lead negotiators on the Clean Tech uh on Salo Barreda project. I'm working on District Square, I'm working on Midtown, working on um uh, Baldwin Hills. Uh, I am uh, the representative on the on the recovery bond task force. So we're so I've been reviewing all the applications for the recovery bonds. Uh, I have um, I'm working on the, in the, in North Hollywood the senior um, the senior housing project. That's the uh, senior arts colony project in North North Hollywood. Uh, advise the re regional staff on negotiations of of our office space yeah. in North Hollywood, uh, and currently. Um, Maybe uh, I should have asked you which projects you're not working on. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot, I'm afraid. <laughs> so you've had your your hands in a lot of different uh, processes. What uh, tell me? What, what are the biggest challenges facing uh, CRA? Uh, given, I mean, we got the worst economy uh, in. In our lifetimes, and, and so I, I think making choices with limited resources. I think we need to make very careful, strategic choices. All each of the project areas need to make strategic choices as to how they spend their limited financial resources till we get through this this period of time. And there's tough choices I think that the council offices, the mayor's office, and the board need to make as to how they spend those limited resources and really prioritizing what are the top projects that they want. 
that they want to see go go forward. We're not going to be able to do everything that needs to be done. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. I just w I wanted to make sure that there was no uh, uh, conflict of issue uh, conflict, conflict of interest uh, issues raised, and so I wanted to bring that up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Alicone. And before I go to Ms. Perry, uh, Mr. Benjamin, have you turned your phone off? Did you put it on vibrate? Okay. <laughs> Well, we accept your apology, Ms. Perry. Yeah. Uh, do you you're, do you have any interest in applying for the permanent job? I do not. So then, when the position is filled, where will you go? I hope to go back to my office on the seventh floor as a deputy chief of operations for real estate and economic development. <laughs> In the agency. In the agency. Oh, okay. So you'll revert. Yes. And while you are serving as interim, will you be uh, engaging in uh, layoffs and things like that? Or will you be saving that for the permanent CEO? We haven't discussed layoffs. Uh, we, uh, we believe we will, be, we will be moving forward to the board on uh, fully explaining all our financial positions. Um, clearly, we're going to have to um, deal with, with the cost and the reduction in revenues and however that plays out. But we can't, because we don't know how long this process is going to take, we can't just, we can't, we can't just do nothing. And so we're going to properly manage the agency during this time period. And we have a great executive staff that can do that. That's it? Okay. Uh, appears to be no more questions, no cards from the public, then without objection, uh, this committee will recommend Mr. Hollis as the interim CEO for the CRA, and that should happen sometimes today after 10 a.m. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Uh, Ms. Barclay, is there any further business before this committee? No, sir. This committee is adjourned.